He goes. Everybody awake? <laughs> I think we found the button. <laughs> the struggle we go through to come to terms with God when we come out to ourselves or when we come into ourselves is not necessary because there's no secrets between us and God. God knows us the way we are and made us that way. Intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes beheld my unformed substance. God, you knew me and you know all about me and yet you still watch over me and love me and you are weaving all of us together and all of me together into the fullness of creation. It's a comfort to know that when we come to our last moment and our time here is finished, God knows the length of our days. There's an exact point in time somewhere out there for each one of you, each one of us, when you'll take your last breath. There's a point in time when you came into this world and you took your first. And God is aware of those two points in time. And as we get closer to this one, and we don't know when it will be or, or where it will be or how it will happen, but we can know that there is a presence with us every step of the way. It's too much to take in. I can't comprehend it. God's thoughts are big, too big for me. It's like counting grains of sand on the shore. And even if I could do that, when I counted the last one, God would still be there. So may God's loving, watchful gaze upon your life be a blessing to you today. Know that you are loved beyond all human comprehension and that there is nothing that will ever separate you from that love. Would you join your heart with mine in prayer? Loving God, we do give you thanks and praise. We thank you that you are beyond us, so far beyond us that we cannot fully understand and comprehend you. And that means that we can't control you, but we can know that you love us and you have our best interest. And you are moving us and guiding us and all of creation into our fulfillment. We may not feel it right now. It may feel like it's all dark and evil is winning, but God, there are so many places, so many places where good things are going on that we never see. Those grains of sand, those, that's the goodness in our world. Help us open our eyes and our hearts. And we pray this in your name. Amen and amen.
bow our heads real quick. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this praise and worship we just had. We just felt the Holy Spirit here. And Lord, I just ask that you continue to be here as we continue to be the light here in our community for our people, for your tribe, for your special tribe. That's what I call it, Lord. So Lord, we just ask that you bless the giver. And Lord, we just ask that you bless us all and that you keep us safe. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Says the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is. 
call upon the Holy Spirit to be here with us and we celebrate this meal that Jesus gave to us and you know who loved the world more than our God as he gave his one and only son to us for us And the night before Jesus was given up to a death, a death he freely accepted, knowing that this was his path. He joined in a room with his friends, his disciples, and they shared a meal. And at the end of the meal, Jesus picked up a piece of leftover bread. lifting it and blessing it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He broke it and shared it with each and every person in that room. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Same manner he took a cup filled with the fruit of the vine, lifting it, giving thanks, and blessing it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He gave it to each and every person in that room, and he said, drink from this cup, for this is my blood shed for you. He said, when you eat of this bread and you drink of this cup, remember me, for I live in you as you live in me. 
And as we remember our Lord Jesus, let us lift him in prayer as we pray. Our Creator in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trust as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For the power and the kingdom and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Here at MCC, we practice an open table. For those of you who are at home, I hope you have prepared a piece of bread, a cracker, a cookie, toast, whatever you might have in your home. Bless it. As I say here at MCC, we practice an open table. You need not be a member of this church or any church to partake in this meal of our Lord. We ask that you come with an open heart, an open mind to receive from this gift. Will the servers and holders please come forward?
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. May it nurture us, mind, body, and soul. May it lift us in your spirit and in your love. Amen. All right, MCC, we're going to close this out this week. I hope everybody has a positive week and take all the positivity that you have today and spread it out for your week because it's all about what? Love. Because everybody here is beautiful, and I want to see you all back next week. Let's go. Please rise as we go. for coming we're not done yet please head through those doors to get some food and if you don't have a ticket please see me and may God bless you may God's face and countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you today and for all your days go in peace Amen.